Hello everybody, welcome back to another Generic Gamer video. Today we'll be showing you the best settings for ForeFlight 2020. This can be used in the sim or real life. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so here we are with the map, very basic, generic. This is probably not what you're gonna see on uh, day one of having the app. But yeah, this is just to get you, and just get you a feel of, um, you know, what everything looks like and the after result of doing all the settings. So let's get right into doing the settings. So first, what we'll want to do is go to the top left and uh, click aeronautical. Shows you all the, you know, classes. Class B is around the, uh, is the blue right there. <clears throat> Here's the different maps. Air, you got aerial, street view, your sectional, IFR charts. Uh, pretty, that's pretty helpful. And you can also make custom maps and upload it into the, uh, into the app. And then here we got next, we got the uh, weather. So that's the radar composite lowest tilt doesn't matter. I usually use uh, composite, just looks the cleanest, but they still both do the same thing, display weather. And then turn on traffic, internet traffic works really good. I think it's uh, off of FlightAware. TFR is on. And then we got, none of that doesn't have to, that doesn't have to be on. And then uh, flight categories or ceiling. I like ceiling just to see where the clouds are. Um, Cause I'm a VFR type of guy. And then lightning. That's obviously on obstacles on that's so good for just real world use too as well um, As well as sim if it's a really good simulator that displays those obstacles So now I go to the right uh, the settings the actual settings. I like dark mode. That's why it's dark or system That works as well. Yeah show weather first on and then uh, pass TAF uh, that does not matter airway decoding uh, always waypoints show any waypoint on that one <clears throat> automatic and then track north up would work otherwise you get disoriented pretty easily extended center lines that's a must distance ring yes that's that's also good <clears throat> track vector on track vector length is just the uh, length of the um, basically shows where your airplane will be and that's the length of it, 60 seconds is that. So route labels, four flight airplane, just all the different airplanes that display on your little blip um, on the map. Let's say I wanted to be at 172, you just go up to the top and then there's the high wing that looks just like it. So I'll click that. Uh, cockpit sharing on, that's pretty self-explanatory show and an annotations on the map on that's basically all on except for a four color radar it doesn't matter that's personal preference preference um we got let's see what else do we have that doesn't matter too much just copy that if you wanted to uh lock disables buttons doesn't matter i'll leave it off um, automatic downloads on sar features just does not matter none of that matters uh, enable stop con and start control again personal preference on that it's pretty self-explanatory um, auto show taxi and show taxi on map on um, and we got the alerts allow uh, device to sleep that's a no um, you cannot let that happen because it just shuts off all the time and that's annoying uh, that's just to show all the helipads if you wanted to see that just all your options on landing if you had an engine out or anything like that <clears throat> so that's basically it for the the main um, settings you can obviously go in and see what I, I miss or if I missed anything or if you see that I didn't do a setting you can go in and try it to see what it is and if you like it that's fine that everybody has their opinion uh, this is just my personal preference on how it either looks or just the how to, how to get the best out of your basic subscription. This is like the basic subscription. So yeah, that's how, how, how to get the best out of it. Okay, that was my complete video for the best settings in ForeFlight 2020, either for IRL use or in the simulator. There will be a live stream happening tomorrow, uh, one day after this is posted. It's going to be at 3 p.m. CST time. Hopefully you guys can uh, tune in for that. For now, have a great day. Subscribe and like. Peace.